Hello guys, hello people, welcome back to this wonderful platform, MC Potoski Talk Show, here on Facebook and also on YouTube. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, according to your time, Zoom. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are over to this great platform, where we react to all videos that comes our way and bring you guys the latest happenings around the world, Nigeria in general. So guys, I bring you guys the latest happening today i'm going to leave you to please so that you guys can still watch this video and also drop your comment at the comment section what you think about this video but before we dive into this video look at the top here if it's your first time on this great platform please consider to subscribe and put on some bell so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform you will be the first to see it and don't forget to share this video to all social media platform so guys just watch the video and i'll be right back team human rights lawyer and activist senior advocate of nigeria mr femi falano will be discussing the recent developments that have captured the nation's attention including the INEX response to concerns surrounding the uh, 2023 election as well as president tunubu's first month in office mr falano Thank you so much indeed for joining us tonight on the program. Let me get your uh, your, your view generally. Uh, I mean, for the Tinubu team, it's a big deal. One month in office, and uh, I mean, from their own point of view, they've made some decisive dec uh, policy uh, decisions, and they've made some far-reaching um, policy actions, which is already having its effect on the livelihoods and the lives of many Nigerians. But in a summary, how do you uh, react or how do you describe the one month in office of Bola Tunubu? Well, I think uh, the last one month has been moments of uh, challenges, uh, whereas the Buhari administration had uh, cancelled uh, a first subsidy uh, in the 2023 budget. Uh, but Nigerians expected that that regime was not going to carry out uh, the implementation of the removal. Uh, but the Bola Tinubu administration uh, took Nigerians by surprise uh, when at the inauguration speech of the president, uh, uh, an announcement was made to the fact that uh, uh, first subsidy was gone forever. Uh, the reverberating effects of the policy have been fed by the Nigerian people, particularly uh, the wretched of the earth, the poor, the low poloi, you know. And therefore, the government has been compelled to declare its intention to roll out some palliatives uh, on the part of the labor, labor movement, and the civil society organizations. Uh, they are asking the government, the government is being asked to consider alternatives, alternative economic program, as opposed to uh, the Washington consensus or the policies uh, dictated, deleterious policies dictated by the IMF and World Bank. And that is that whereas you have announced the removal of first subsidy, and we are being told now that about $10 billion will be saved. Nigerians are asking the government to look at the alternatives. Can we trade with countries that are prepared to accept Naira as opposed to our looking for the dollars, can we embrace now the compressed natural gas, a CNG, instead of PMS? Because from what we have just been told by one of uh, uh, leading economists, bourgeois economists in the country, uh, uh, Mr. Rewane, we have been told now that uh, this is not the end of first subsidy removal. According to him, the government has not totally removed first subsidy. Uh, the EPA, uh, I think another organization, 
petroleum suppliers are saying that very soon, because of the a collapse, I mean, or because of devaluation of the national currency via dollarization, the pound price may go to 700 naira. So the government will have to go back to the drawing table and look at the available options under the Kenya model by looking for friends in the international arena, like Saudi Arabia. Can we pay Naira while we are trying to fix our refineries while you give us fuel? Or you simply trade with countries like China and India. Please, we are ready to sell our oil to you. Can you pay us Naira instead of dollars so that we can show up the value of the Naira, because as long as you continue to devalue the Naira via dollarization, the country will be in trouble. And these are the issues. Mm. These so, are the issues. Yeah. So, I mean, for a lot of Nigerians, some of them who tonight are watching uh, the, the, the program tonight, uh, having bought an expensive, they bought fuel three times the price uh, they would normally buy it May 28. Uh, May 29, their lives are taking a new turn entirely. Some of those who said that uh, before now, that they will go to work, um, albeit with the little uh, salaries they're earning. But now some of them will have to trek some distance, uh, then have to take transport, because if they have to spend what they need to spend on transport, the, the, the prices have gone up. The price of commodities have gone up. The price of transportation have gone up. I mean, you look at it, uh, subsidy remover, a lot of people have applauded it. But the effect of it is more on the, the downtrodden, the poor, the masses of our nation. Could, should they, I mean, or couldn't the, um, the Tinubu government have seen this happening? And now the issue of electricity tariff, and although they said this may not happen, the hike in the price of electricity tariff, and a whole lot of these issues are already impacting directly on the food on the table and the quality of life of the average citizen. They say, well, it might be a good policy, but Nigerians are suffering. What is important, uh, in the implementation of government policies is to look at the impact on the people. Now that it's clear that uh, those who initially applauded the removal of first subsidy are beginning to appreciate the enormity of the crisis that it has caused for the country, and now mounting prayer on the government to fast track uh, the process of cushioning the effects of removal. Uh, no doubt there was a lot of fraud that characterized the management of first subsidy, and the government will have to investigate that. Secondly, the government will have to move speedily to address the suffering of the people, undeserved pains inflicted on the people because of the irresponsibility of the Nigerian ruling class. Whereas General Muhammad Buhari had promised in 2014, 2015, when I get to power, I am going to fix all the refineries. I'm Seems to be some uh, glitch there. Uh, connection uh, issues with uh, Mr. Femi Falano, uh, senior advocate of Nigeria, who's been reacting to uh, the aftermath of the removal of a subsidy by the Bolatinobu uh, administration, which is just spent just about a month in office. Um, the government, uh, as soon as uh, the president was getting uh, his inauguration speech on the day of uh, the thank you for watching that video so guys before you leave look at the top here you will see where the road subscribe just subscribe to this great platform and also put on sean bell so that 
whenever we upload any video in this great platform you will be the first to see it and don't forget to share this video to all social media platform on facebook whatsapp and instagram and also on youtube so that everyone out there will see this video so guys see you guys some other time